What's up guys? Long time no see. It's been a bit. It's been a bit and I've missed you. Just kidding. I don't know you and you don't know me. We're talking through a screen. So somebody tweeted me this idea months ago and I wrote it down on my little notepad. They told me to read Fred the Movie reviews for a video. That sounds fun. I'll read all day about people praising my performance. Rotten Tomatoes, Fred the Movie. Okay, here we go. Tomato meter, 0%. Honestly, I have not read any professional reviews of the Fred movie, mostly because I knew they were bad and I didn't want to bring my self-esteem down. You know who does like Fred the movie? People under the age of five. So there. That's not a good thing. Oh, look, 31% of audiences liked it. That's cool. It has an average rating of a 2.3 out of five. That's not the worst. Let's read the first professional review. This is by Time Out London. British people. Do they love Fred? Let's see. At times, the film is unwatchably annoying. <laughs> You guys, I just had a vivid flashback. Before the movie actually came out, I watched like the cuts of it being edited. Edited, edited, titted, edited, titted. Anyway, I was in the screening room watching Fred the movie with my manager and halfway through the movie, I look over at my manager who's managing my career, apparently is a big fan of mine and he's sleeping. The bitch fell asleep. How you can fall asleep during a movie that features so much screaming? I don't know, but he was asleep next to me and I was like, great, this movie must be wonderful. My manager is asleep. I was really excited. Fred is an excruciating hero. His desperate self-love and supposedly winning confidence rating almost as much as that nails on a blackboard voice. Fred is a withering, unerringly precise, satirical pastiche? Pistachio? What's that word? Pastiche? Of the me first American Idol generation. The only question is why an audience would choose to spend 83 minutes with him. Fuck! If the only Freds you are aware of are Astaire or Flintstone, then I'm afraid that Fred the movie will come as a terrible shock. Fuck! In this desperately dumb and irritating film, this Fred is a demented and squeaky voice, Jerry Lewis style teenager, and is as annoying as Nails being scraped down a blackboard. This is the second review to compare Fred's voice to Nails on a blackboard, and I can't disagree. I cannot disagree. Verdict, one out of five. Oh my God. This film is 12A because it contains behavior that would be dangerous if copied. Quite right too. If I ever see anyone acting like Fred, I'll probably loose off a shotgun at them. Fred the movie makes people angry. It makes my manager fall asleep and reviewers pissed. A comedy without laughs. That's great. Centered around the most excruciatingly annoying hero ever to grace a cinema screen. Fuck! He's insane! He's irrepressible! It's like a bad dream you keep hoping will stop. If your eardrums don't break, your spirit certainly will. Shit! Kids may love this film, but adults should stand well back! Drop dead, Fred. Seriously. Shit. This is brutal! Okay, I just scrolled down, and there's a part of Rotten Tomatoes that has memorable quotes. And somebody is trolling this website, because look at the first quote that apparently is from Fred the movie. Fred's dad, I should have ejaculated in your mother's anus. Instead, the night you were conceived. That wasn't said in the movie. That was not in the movie. IMDB, 2.2 out of 10. It's better than 0%. Two words. Don't fucking bother. Horrific in so many ways. It's a vicious, uncompromising, malevolent rape of the senses. I raped people's senses. This reviewer referred to me as penis face. Do I have a penis face? Have I been going through life with a penis face and no one's bothered to tell me I've got a dick face? Great, I've got a cock face. One word, 
Why? At least he didn't say I was penis face. Oh my gosh, there's a positive review. And the review says 10 out of 10 would bang Judy. They rated it a 10 because they wanted to have sex with the actress who played Judy. At least they didn't call me a penis face. Oh look, there's another positive review. Judy was hot. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <gasps> okay, that was great. I'm glad I did that. I've definitely heard people say, you know what, Fred the movie wasn't my favorite. I've heard people say it sucked, but I never have gotten to read the in-depth reasons why it sucked. So I'm glad I did this. Whatever, I don't care if people liked the Fred movie. Because regardless of what anyone thinks of the movie, I can go to bed knowing that John Cena put me in an intimate headlock. <laughs> And that alone is worth all of the hate. Give me the penis-faced hate. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Lucas Channel. Subscribe. Do it. I'm going, bye. <laughs> I'm leaving. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. What are you doing? Why are you still here? All right, I'm gonna go.